were approved, then the towers that go through would be considerably larger than they are now. Mm -hmm. And with the amount of land that would have to be purchased, uh, it would get closer to my property line, mm -hmm. uh, you know, within a hundred feet of our house. Right? Yeah. And so, I mean, what is it like, you mentioned there are already lines surrounding yes. you? And so what is it like having, I guess, a distribution and then two transmission lines, I well, guess, visible? Well, it's kind of a physical eyesore to start yeah. with. Yeah. Uh, and you really don't have any control uh, over those lines because they're built in the, the right-of-way or in a neighbor's field. And uh, so not only visually, but they, uh, in some cases, can interfere with our trees and so forth. And so, um, but none of those three are on your property specifically. Not on my property. But um, and so, so, I guess, what are your thoughts about the proposed line? <laughs> I mean, if you had to summarize, kind of maybe a, a well, concern that you have, or uh, well, the rate increase which would come uh, would be critical, but it's more about the need of the line. We don't currently need any additional power. We see this as a line that's being built to send electricity to larger metropolitan areas. Mm. We're just the past. Two. Mm. And can you talk about, you said your electric bill, you cited some figures. Can you kind of summarize that a little right. bit? Our um, bill was an average of about $80 a month. That's the usage. And that was over in 2017. When the ATC line was built in Iowa, if you look at the bottom of the bill, they add another three cents a kilowatt hour to the usage charge. And so if that were applied to my bill, that would be an additional $22 a month or about a 27% increase. 